Glen Danny, interesting double header coming up. Firstly, Republic of Ireland at Wembley, then a trip to Rio to face Brazil in the Maracanã. Do you see it as a, as a good chance to test England's versatility against different types of opposition? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, a, it's a trip that uh, a lot of the lads are looking forward to. Obviously, these games don't come around too often, and to play um, Republic of Ireland at Wembley, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a re really good stage for us to um, obviously show what we can do, and then to obviously go to Brazil, and play in the Americana. It's, um, it's something that all the lads are really looking forward to doing. Firstly, the Republic of Ireland game. A lot you'll know a lot of few of the faces from around the Premier League. Do you see it as being more of a sort of a, an English style game, a more physical game? Glenn? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, any team that plays England at Wembley always always want to try and, and go away of the win, so I don't think it'd be much of a friendly. Uh, and like you say, you, you know the majority of the players anyway, so I'm sure it'd be a, a fierce game. We've not taken them on for 18 years for various reasons, but is it a good chance to test yourself? As I said before, we, we're familiar with a lot of the players there. And um, it's going to be so, something that we're really looking forward to doing. And um, obviously, going into combat with them. There's a, a few absentees on the injury list on this on this trip for England or on this get together for England. Do you think it, Roy Hodgson will see it as a chance to look at a few other members of the squad? Yeah, I think so. Um, and I think that's what what friendlies are mainly for, really, um, to try new things and give some other players the opportunity to perform and and like I say, to just to try things out, really. So. Uh, I'm sure nobody wants anybody to be injured, but I'm sure Royal pick players that deserve an opportunity to uh, to step in. And then straight after the Ireland game, we go to, straight to the airport to, to fly to Brazil. It's the first time England have been to the Southern Hemisphere to take on, apart from the World Cup in 2010, obviously, but for a friendly, it's the first time in 10 years. Do you, do you relish the chance to sort of go and play in a totally different set of circumstances, in a different culture, as it were? Could that, Danny? Yeah, well, it's going to be new. It's going to be new for us, and um, I've not been to that part of the world f before in my life. So I'm really looking forward to that, and um, it's something that obviously growing up, you always watching Brazil playing. Um, there's players there that you you'd really look up to, idolise really. So um, to go up against um, a good Brazilian national team in um, in Brazil, it doesn't come much better than that. We beat Brazil back at Wembley in, in February, I think it was. You both started in that game. What did you learn from, from Brazil that night, Glenn? Um, well, pretty much you, you know that they're all going to be technically comfortable on the ball and they're going to have some great players with flair and confidence and pretty much will be able to score at almost any opportunity given the chance. So, you know, any time you play Brazil, whether it's a friendly or a major tournament, you have to be on top of your game. Um, otherwise, they can score goals at will. Are you looking at the game in Rio as maybe an incentive to grab the qualification campaign by the scruff of the neck once the new season starts up again? To yeah. make sure we're there. Well, I think first and foremost, we need to um, obviously get there first, and that's our main aim. We need to qualify out of, out of the group stages, and um, then maybe we can look back at the at the experience that we've gained in Brazil, and um, obviously use that to your to your benefit and. Um, once you get out there, you know what the surroundings are like, the environment, and um, it's not going to come as a shock to you because it's nothing new.